Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, you're gonna have to take it for a minute because I forgot something. Oh, Dad, take it. Hi, everyone. Oh. Glad you're here on this beautiful sunny day. I hope it's nice where you are. How you doing, Jack? Keep going. Ah, uh, doing good. So, what's it like being home all the time? Uh, slightly yeah, boring. Slightly boring. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Hello, everyone. Sorry. Well, we have something really cool that we, Dave and I, have been working on. Don't you have an old version? Fervently. Yeah. Oh. And now I can't find the picture of it that I was going to show you. Yeah. So I'll have Dave resend it to me. No, I don't. All right. So. Today, we are making homemade brownie mix. Did you know the brownie mix is just five ingredients? It is super easy, super, super easy. This recipe is in our dining on a dime. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now this version, if you have this cover, <laughs> it is on page 369. If you do not have this cover, you will have to look at our wonderful index right there in the back. Depending on which version you have, we actually are working on another new version. <laughs> right now, we're hoping to have it to the printer on Thursday. If we don't stab our eyeballs out from dealing, dealing with it. Oh my goodness. But this one is in page 369. Now, Dining on a Dime is 30% off right now for Mother's Day. And they're selling like hotcakes, but we have it for Mother's Day. Um, oops, oh dear. We also have our oops, financial planner. Everything else in our store is 50% off. Dining is 30, everything else is 50% off. Our aprons are 50% off. You want to get together people, apron. I already sent you that. Financial planner, my price book, my to-do list for the refrigerator, my meal plan for the refrigerator. All of those are on sale, okay? Now, we are making fudge brownie mix. Um, this is super easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to melt your butter first, okay? So I got my butter in there. Look what I did to my microwave. I was Wonder Woman and I didn't even know it. Yeah. So now we got to fix our microwave. All right. So, getting that melted, and I forgot to put something on top of it, so it's probably going to explode all over the place. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is like a two-minute recipe. I don't even know how I'm going to extend it, because it's like a two-minute recipe. But, right here, we have sugar. Dun, dun, dun. And we are mixing the sugar, butter, and cocoa. Now, baking cocoa, what is that noise? Oh, baking <laughs> cocoa is not the same as hot chocolate for drinking. Baking cocoa has no sugar. It is 100% cocoa. There's no sugar. There's no marshmallows. There's no nothing. It comes in a powder like this, Dave. All right. Comes in a powder like this. Okay. And it's very not tasty by itself. Uh. <laughs> Anjanette says, just delicious. Best brownies ever. Yes. And Thanks, we, Anjanette. We quoted you. You want to try a taste? <laughs> try a taste. What do you think? See? Not very tasty, huh? It tastes like dark chocolate, but even more dark than dark chocolate. That's exactly what it is. Okay, so what you want to do is completely pack your cocoa in here. Cocoa, you always want to measure packed, okay? So you pack it in there, and then you level it off, just like that, okay? This, um, well, man, I guess I really did pack it. Okay, this is a quarter cup. I need a half a cup, okay? 
Now, since I'm a lazy baker, usually what I do is I just go over just a little bit and dump it in because why do extra work? That's my theory in life. Cocoa, sugar, and whoa, butter all in here, just like that. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix up these three ingredients. Now, I will say on the baking cocoa, there are some that I really just don't think taste very good. And even though the Toll House brand is the cheapest, I do not like it that well. I will be perfectly frank and say I prefer the Hershey's or the store brand, but for some reason, I don't like the Nestle's cocoa. Um, I know, it just tastes not so great to me. Um, it kind of has an off funny taste to me, but okay. So then you're left with this, all right? Then you're gonna put in your flour. Now, I put my flour in next to cool down the batter so that when I put my eggs in, they don't just scramble, okay? Now, you can put your eggs in a separate bowl and all that, that didn't work. If you want, I just pour them in there. Now, why am I doing this recipe today? Because I went to the store last, not a week ago today, and they actually had pretty much everything back in stock again. So, I'm doing this because I am assuming that we are getting things back in stock. These are a fudge brownie. Now, a little trick to making fudge brownies is to undercook your brownies slightly. Now, this recipe already has the correct time in dining on a dime. But if you're modifying another recipe, you want to underbake your brownies by five to 10 minutes so they have that gooey, fudgy center. Oh man, now I'm wishing I would have used gluten-free mix on this because that would have been delicious. Um, and now my mouth is salivating for brownies. Okay, that's it guys, just like so. Now, if you want, well first of all, spray your pan, okay? Now, if you want, you can add for double chocolate chips, double, triple chocolate, you could do triple chocolate if you want. You can put your brownie mix, and then you can add chocolate chips in here. You can add um, white chocolate chips. You can add caramel chips. You can add cherry chips. Man, that looks really good. You could add marshmallow fluff if you want. Uh, you could add marshmallows. You could add marshmallows with almonds for a rocky road type um, brownie. This is like so versatile that it's crazy. Okay, so then we got it like so, and we are going to bake it for 30 minutes. Now, um, I want to show you a little trick here, okay? So we're getting that in the oven right there. And then I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to cook my dinner for you guys, okay? Now, let me show you a little trick. Come back up, Dave. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, we went house shopping on Friday. And we were that close, weren't we? We almost found it. We were like, this is the perfect property. It had two outbuildings. It had beautiful trees. It was quiet. Oh man, it was really quiet. And we were super, super excited. So we came home, decided that wasn't the place for us, but came home I was in, we were both inspired, weren't we? Yes. We are like, we are moving. <laughs> and if we have to go knock on every door and see who is selling their house, we are going to go knock on every door in that neighborhood. Because <laughs> we were like, this is where we want to live. But 
what inspired what I'm about to tell you. This is what inspired this. So I went downstairs to clean up and organize my emergency food stash. And one of the things I have is baking powder in there. Now, this baking powder is right here. Can you guys see that? 511 2017. Can they see that? I don't know uh, if you can see not that. Not really. It's hard to okay, well, it says 511. It says 511 2017. <gasps> How dare you? That's I so know. expired. It's almost three years old. Holy moly. So, I, here's how to test baking powder, okay? So I'm putting a little bit of baking powder, I don't know, a teaspoon or so, right here. Okay, Dave, I need camera work. All right. Uh, we had some questions, too. Okay. Well, actually, um... Paul said, our 70-year-old neighbor who's never watched YouTube before is watching you for the first time. I dropped a sterilized iPad over and she's borrowing our Wi-Fi. Her name is Anne. Oh, Ann. hello, Anne. Hi, Anne. We're really glad you're here. We love Ireland. We were just there. Actually, Ireland was really nice. And we met Gregory, the cutest little dog. <laughs> what, what kind of dog did we decide? What We looked him up. He was something special that's over there. Uh... Oh, I can't remember. I should ask Kelly. Okay. So anyway, back to baking powder. Here's my baking powder in here. Now, you will know if this is still good if you pour boiling water on it. Okay? So here we go. It's going to bubble. Oh, there it goes. Look, 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 look. Woo, look at all that bubbleage. Is that a word, bubbleage? No, I don't know. Sure. I think I just made a word. So can you guys see how that's bubbling? Not quite. It's white against white. Ah! Like, it's kinda. white against white. Okay, kindness. hold on. We will do this test again so you guys can see the bubble edge. Here we go. Okay, now can they see in this one? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. So there's just over a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, boiling water. Here we go. You ready? Watch yep. bubble edge. I'm watching. Yeah, you can see the bubble edge. Can you guys see how that's bubbling? Yep. Okay, that's easy. So that's how you know you have baking powder that is still good. Now, come back, Dave. Now, if you still don't have any baking powder, on page, let me look real quick here. On page, baking, baking powder, $3.95. On this edition of Dining on a Dime, which is on sale right now, okay, this version, if you have this version of Dining on a Dime, it's on page 395. We have the recipe for homemade baking powder, along with homemade buttermilk, homemade egg substitute. And then if you need powdered sugar and self-rising flour and sweetened condensed milk, Cajun seasoning for our friends at Alderman Farms, which we're going to talk about in just a minute because I'm super excited. Baking powder is right here. It's cream of tartar, baking soda. Just mix those two together. Now, a couple weeks ago, when all this panic buying started happening, I was still in the middle of testing recipes for our new books coming out. And um, we couldn't find baking powder anywhere. So I told Mike, I said, go grab some cream of tartar. I have baking soda, but grab some cream of tartar. So he was able to grab cream of tartar and then I was able, yes, I forgot to put the timer on. <laughs> I was able to um, may, still test my recipes just fine, okay? And once again, for those of you just joining us, our Mother's Day sale ends on Thursday. Dining on a Dime Cookbook is 30% off. Everything else in our store, our financial planner, our to-do list, our menu plans, all those are um 50 percent off so and i will tell you um well yeah so anyway i won't tell you never mind i'm not telling you because if i tell you then i'm gonna get in trouble and then yeah uh we had some questions uh oh christina wanted to know if that was a stainless steel baking pan and if so do we recommend them Yes and yes. I prefer baking with stainless steel. And I'll tell you why. Because like all the time I'm burning stuff. So the stainless steel, and it's not because of the stainless steel. It's because I get distracted and I forget I'm cooking. And so, 
the stainless steel cleans up really nice and well. You don't have to worry about scratching it. Now, if you use a dark pan, if you have dark pans like these, these non-stick pans, these are okay, but you have to turn your temperature down 25 degrees if you use glass or dark pans like this. If you don't, your stuff will burn on the bottom, okay? So these are perfectly fine to use, and I use them now and then, but I just don't like them because they scratch. I mean, you can see right there how this one's scratched. So, yeah, I mean, you can, but... All right, any other questions? Yes. Um, Janice said, she's wondering about the, in the price book, she says, I don't understand the TH column. You know okay, so in our price book right here, price book, this is how me and my assistant Heidi keep our grocery prices low because we keep track of prices. See the TH column? This is Tara and Heidi's prices, and this is our lowest stock up price. So when we find an item for that price, we know that it's a super good deal and we stock up. That's our stock up price, okay? All right. Questions? Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for, it seemed like there were a couple others. Uh, why do some store brownie mixes call for a half cup and others only a quarter of a cup? Um, I, I don't know what you mean, but do you mean oil? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Mm -hmm. That was a different question. If it's oil, um, it's just a variation in the recipe. Some of them maybe put shortening in there. Some of them just use less. It depends on if it's a fudge, fudge brownie or a cake brownie. I don't know for sure. I'd have to look at the, I'd have to look at the packages and see if they're fudge brownies or cake brownies. If there's less brownie mix, it could be any number of things. Uh, we had a couple people. Janice said, I've made these brownies every week. So delicious. <laughs> Christina saying that recipe is the best one ever. Two sticks of butter and chocolate. You can't go wrong. Yeah. And this recipe is at livingonadime.com, guys. You can just go grab it over there. I keep forgetting to say that, but yeah. And Paul said that they're running out of, they have run out of laundry powder at the store and the store won't deliver it. And they're quarantined for eight more weeks. Oh, have mercy. Any suggestions? Um, well... What I would do is, first of all, make sure you're not putting on fresh clothes every day. If you're quarantined, I'm assuming you're not getting filthy dirty, meaning out working in the garden and that kind of thing. But what I mean is wear the same shirt. We all wear deodorant mostly now, so you don't smell that kind of thing. Change your underwear every day, but you can, if your feet aren't sweaty, you can wear the socks once, one or two, you can wear it for two or three days, really. Some people can, depending on how sweaty they get. Your shirts, if they don't get sweaty and stinky, hang them up, wear them for two or three days. So first of all, don't change and get fresh clothes every single day. Get fresh underwear, but the rest of it don't. Then if you run out of, laundry, first of all, make sure you're using less laundry detergent. Most of the time you need a quarter to a half the amount of laundry detergent that it recommends. Secondly, over there the water is a little bit harder than we have here, has more minerals in it than we have here. If you don't feel like it gets your clothes as clean, you can add some baking soda or some borax. Did they have borax over there? I can't remember if they have borax, but they have baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. You can add that to your laundry and that will help soften the water to make your detergent work more. Then, if you run out of detergent, you can just wash your clothes by hand with bar soap or shampoo or anything like that. Or, if they're just not filthy, filthy dirty, just put a little bit of soap like on the pits of your shirt, on your underwear, and just use mostly water to rinse out your clothes. Yeah. Uh, we had a number of other questions. Cherry, is there a way to make a Lysol-like disinfecting spray homemade? I just use rubbing alcohol. So I put rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle and I just go around and spray all the door handles. Now I know rubbing alcohol is kind of hard to find right now, but you can do that. The other thing is, is to take a wash rag with a little bit of soapy water and actually physically scrub the doorknobs, scrub the phone, 
You don't wanna saturate your phone with water, obviously, but you can rub it down. The rubbing out action helps break the outer edges of bacteria and viruses, and so it helps um, with that. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna start working on my dinner here real quick while Mike is getting um, more questions real quick. We have a pan. We, this is two ingredients, this recipe's in our cookbook. We have salsa and we have rice and maybe I'll add in a little extra spices, but I am making some homemade, um, super easy, uh, what do you call this? Um, Span I can't even remember what I call it. Spanish rice. Making some Spanish rice. Oh, yum. For our dinner. Get it all in there. This is leftover rice that we had. Just break up your rice and add in your salsa. Do you have questions while I'm doing that? Well, a couple things. Frankie says, fun you tip. When you have the small amount of laundry detergent, Left in the bottle, use it to clean your tub. It breaks down the soap, soap scum and smells oh, amazing. Just that's fill, a great idea. She says, fill the jug with water and pour into the tub and scrub away. Yeah, wow, you know, I should try that and see. Huh? Are you wanting me to zoom in? Uh, you don't have to zoom. Or like, okay. Um, I just wasn't sure. Now I'm just going to pour my salsa in. Yeah. So Lynn says, I'm having a hard time finding yeast. Is there a substitution? Well, actually... <laughs> That's a beautiful segue, honey. Did you do that oh, do you on purpose? you want me to ask the other questions first? Did you do that on purpose? Uh, no, actually I didn't. <gasps> you didn't do that segue on purpose? Mm -mm. Okay, let me stir this up and then I'm going to tell you what you can do for yeast. So, yeast is a little hard to find right now. I did find some at oh. the store the other day, but um, let me tell you, you can make sourdough bread. Now, if you have Dining on a Dime, we do have the potato flake starter is our sourdough bread and that's one of the things that we're changing in the next edition is we're calling it sourdough because we realized wait a minute people didn't realize it's a sourdough starter okay so there you go i'm going to add a little bit of seasoned salt but let me tell you if you don't have salsa is there a substitution you can use yes so if you don't have salsa for this you can just use tomato paste or diced tomatoes or stewed tomatoes that are that are cut up. Any of those you can put in there. You can either leave all the liquid in there. I We like the liquid because it makes the rice a little bit softer. Um, throw that in the oven. Yes. Anna has a great. She says, I wanted to share today that I am debt free, except for my mortgage. I've been watching you guys since starting my debt free journey, and I can't thank you enough for all of the tips and spending wisely. You go! Yay, awesome! That is great! Good job. Yay! Oh, see, that's so, encouraging. It'll be so much easier in the next few months when you don't have it. <laughs> it bills. is. That's going to be nice. Bills from that debt. So, we have coming out, hopefully, tomorrow, we are launching. Right, Dave? We're launching tomorrow. Hopefully. Sourdough start to finish. Easy sourdough start to finish. By? By our friend Patty Alderman. So our friend Patty Alderman wrote this um, ebook on how to make sourdough and then how to make bread from sourdough. Right here. Super, super easy. If you don't have yeast, Sourdough is the way to go, and it's not complicated, guys. It's really easy. The only thing that is complicated is that you have to wait for it, and it's hard waiting for it because when you don't have yeast and you're using a sourdough starter, it takes a longer time to rise. So what we do is we make the bread at night, let it rise overnight, and then bake it in the morning. But look at this typesetting that Dave did. He designed this. He typeset it. Hold on, let me scroll up. Lovely pictures right there. We have this ebook coming out hopefully tomorrow because I told my friend Patty, I said, your ebook would be great right now. And she's like, oh, you really? I said, yes. I said, let me 
get Dave on typesetting and designing something and let's see if we can come up with something. And she's like, okay. So we've been working how long? Three weeks on this, I think? Oh, Two or three weeks on this. And poor Dave, can I tell you a sad story? Last week we were finished on yeah. Friday. We finished the whole thing. The whole thing was finished. Done. Completely done. We forgot one page. So Dave went to go in and re-add or and add that page and his computer crashed and we lost the entire file. Lesson learned, never keep one save file for him. Lesson learned. This was a huge learning thing for Dave that you always keep backups of your file. We lost the entire week and a half's worth of work that Dave had done on it. And we had to start all over again on Tuesday. And so last Tuesday we started all over again we're back to the end and now we're back to the end we have we forgot to put in links in there so we're going in after the show is done and we're going to put in links and then we are done our friend patty alderman go check him out on youtube alderman farms they're awesome we they're like love the Tommy and patty they're like the best people maybe ever. we should get a winter home in mississippi so we can go play cards with them in the winter should we do sure. that sure is it foresty <laughs> It's foresty. It's really, oh, there it's area. really oh, foresty. Nice. Yes. Well, it's not really mountainy, but it's foresty. Really? I didn't know there was such big trees down there. I didn't know there was so much forest. It was really nice. It was really pretty. We get a mountain home next to a lake in Oregon. Mountain home next I mean, to a lake? I mean, not a mountain home. Uh, so, tomorrow, we are hoping to launch Easy Sourdough Start to Finish by my friend Patty Alderman. So stay tuned. We're hoping. So, watch, watch, watch. Okay, so I'm going to work on cooking dinner here i have some oil i store my cooking oil in the fridge in a mason jar and i'm gonna fry up some we're having nachos for dinner tonight i have pre-cut tortillas into little chips but dave and jack have run out of tortilla chips their favorite food in the whole world next to popcorn no. so they have a corn thing don't they so uh <laughs> yes. So, well, that would be kind of funny if I'm a farmer growing corn and they love corn. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, anyway, I'm going to fry up some tortillas right now for the boys and cook dinner while we're taking the rest of the questions and waiting for the brownies to finish. So, bring them on, dear. Oh, sorry. It was... Uh... Nancy, after I saw Tara's baking center, I set one up in my kitchen. Now I don't have to make 20 trips across my kitchen when baking. Thanks. Got, <sighs> got the great nice? idea. Yeah, so oh. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, go back and look at my video on my baking center. I have all my baking stuff in one cabinet. Well, two doors. So I don't know if that's two cabinets or one cabinet. I don't know how you would count that. But two doors worth of baking stuff. I have everything. My shortening, my flour, my sugar, my vanilla, my baking spices. I keep stove spices over here and I keep baking spices over in my baking center so I'm not running back and forth and then it's all next to the refrigerator so uh, are you baking or frying the chips I am frying them uh, and I'm waiting for my oil to get heat up here let's see <laughs> my mailman was intrigued by your shipping name <laughs> we had a conversation at the mailbox about how I'm cooking I highly recommended your channel uh Thank Thanks! That's much. why we did that on the boxes. <laughs> yeah, actually, those boxes are awesome. I'm uh, thinking... in that they they've really reduced the number of packages getting damaged in the mail. Yeah, which is really it's nice. It's really helped. So, so in, here's the thing, guys. On Wednesday's show, well, I'm hoping to do a sourdough. For those of back to the sourdough thing, I forgot to say, on Wednesday's show, I think I'm going to be making sourdough bread. Um. Hopefully the uh, ebook will be totally done this evening. Dave did such a great job. Everybody give Dave a thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. He did so good. He quit on me when he lost his file. He quit, but then he came back. No, I didn't. I quit on <laughs> oh. the other one that was. Tommy and Patty are on. on a different <laughs> yes. Uh, 
See, I think they would love we were, us to have a summer home. We down wanted here. to go over a there and home. visit them, and all of a sudden, all the travel restrictions went up, and we're like, oh. Actually, we were we were seriously thinking about heading down there, and then two days later, they pulled the the restrictions on us. Okay, you're getting so, lots of claps, Dave. Yep, I see that. My favorite tool in the kitchen now is my thermometer. Shoot that puppy, and you want about three seventy five. And just start putting your chips in and going for it. Dave, can you give me a paper plate? All right, any other questions? Okay, so we had um, Janice made the Navajo fried bread tacos today. Yes, we saw your pictures. That's, I'm, she says, super easy and delicious. I'm really, really glad you're loving it. That's one of my favorite recipes. I need to make um, that. I haven't made that forever. Uh-oh, where did the tongs go? And, oh, it's about eight oh, more minutes for the brownies, guys. Miss T said, if you have Alfredo sauce and peppers and onions, you can put that on the rice with Mexican seasoning if you don't have the other stuff and it's good. Yeah. Uh, there was a question here. Um, that I wanted to, how do you know the difference between, from a liquid measuring cup or dry measuring? So a dry measuring cup looks like this. That's a whole cup? This is a quarter cup. Oh, okay. A dry measuring cup looks like this. And a liquid... <laughs> Liquid measuring cup looks like this. That's the difference. Oh, and by the way, uh, was it, oh, was it Nancy? I can't remember. Wait a minute, let me see. Let me see. Kathy! Thank you, Kathy, for your card. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. Um, okay. Next, my dearest. Do you want me to cancel this? Yeah. Uh, I think that was it for questions. Well, actually, uh, Tia Mutz, I am glad to see you making your chips from scratch. I do the same, and they're so delicious. Do you make chilaquiles? I don't know what those are. I have are. no idea what that is. Send me the recipe. Sounds good, though. <laughs> Editor at livingonadime.com. If it's Mexican food, we love it. Uh, I think that's mostly it for the questions. Oh, Elaine, a couple of people were saying, and Elaine was one of them, uh, was it a King Charles Cavalier dog? There was some other name I thought no. it was. Oh, it's something else. Wait, it wasn't an Irish. No. Because <laughs> I remember we were talking about. Type an a, Irish dog. There was a, second, let's see. There was a dog that was an Irish setter. Um, <laughs> and we thought it was kind of. What was it called? Uh, shoot. It was a. Oh, was it this? It was this kind of dog, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was that dog. It was the cutest little dog. What is that called? Um. Oh, shoot. It's. I think that might... Are you sure he's not a setter? Well, no, I'm not. It might be a setter, but it was a specific name of a setter. Uh, awesome. All kinds of awesome Irish names for the picture of the dog. No, we're looking for the dog. Uh, okay, should we show a picture and see if anyone remembers okay. what it is? Yeah. I don't know. Anybody... Paul maybe knows. Paul, what kind of dog is this? So, so this is the kind of dog it was. We were in Killarney, and this dog was one oh. of the... Was it one What's of the neighborhood the dogs? We called him Gregory. The kids named yeah, him Gregory. Gregory. <laughs> we have no idea what his name was, but the kids named him, Ellie named him Gregory. But every morning he'd get up and he'd walk along with his little that tail going, Killarney, looking, right? checking right? everything out in the neighborhood and being friendly to everybody. And wasn't, then came back, he was, was in Killarney. Killarney? Yeah. 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 Uh, Killarney was awesome. Anyway, I we were trying to figure out, we tried to figure out what kind of dog it was and I think we finally figured out, but I don't recall. We did, but I can't remember. Uh, King Charles Spaniel, Conquer Spaniel, King Charles Cavalier. So it well, looks maybe like that's right what age. it was. Maybe it was a king. Maybe it was this King Charles Springer Spaniel. I don't know. And homemade millennial said, "Looks like an Irish setter." You know what's funny? Maybe it was. I don't remember. I didn't. It didn't occur to me till we were there. Wait, Irish setters probably mean. You think they're Irish? Irish? <laughs> I never made that connection before, so. Go figure. So this is a super easy dinner. All I'm doing is frying up my tortilla chips. I have my packet of ground beef bro frozen that I'm just going to microwave for about three, three, four minutes, get it warmed up and unfrozen. And we're just going to have a plate of nachos. Now, you can use either shredded cheese like this or 
The other day when we were at the store, Dave found his favorite processed <laughs> cheese. Yeah. Nacho that, cheese that stuff. Was, that was more of a joke, just, <laughs> just so you know. So we're using that when we when we can, but yeah. It, it's a joke. So mom bought it for him just the... to be silly. Wow. Um Oh, G. Hoffman says Irish setters are larger dogs, size of a retriever. I thought they were. This was, yeah, this was a pretty small dog, maybe like the size of a beagle or something. We'll uh, ask Ellie if she remembers. Oh, by the way, speaking of Ellie well, dice. Brooks says carry beagles. <laughs> since yeah, I can't remember. EllieGoatMilkGifts.com. Ellie has her goat milk soap and the travel size is all she has left of the cream. So we can't get the ingredients for the goat milk cream, so she just has the travel size, but she has soap. 25% off Mother's Day, code SALE25, goatmilkgifts.com for those of you who wanting her soap. All right. So uh, let me show you what these look like. Rose said, today I was watching Out of Goshen. They were singing your cookbook praises. They uh -huh. made your chicken and dumplings and were raving about them. We love Out of Goshen. There are the chips right there. Yes, we love out of Goshen. They came over here and made, is it latkes or latkes? Latkes. Someday we're going to go visit them in Michigan. Well, I don't know if we can ever get up there. Michigan has issues with their roads. Michigan needs to get it together, people. That's all I'm saying about that. She went twice to visit um, Penny up in Michigan. and Our friend Penny. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen roads so bad. It was crazy. So we'd need a four-wheel drive. Yeah. That we don't need in Colorado. <laughs> Uh, let's yeah, see. so we were super excited when we found the place we want to live, but now we just have to find a house. So I'm going through every day and doing something to the house to get it ready to move, packing up. I got my emergency food packed up on, what day was it, Saturday? Got that done. Somebody apparently asked if you can use gluten-free flour as a starter. Yeah. Uh, like you can, starter. but if you use the um, starter in our cookbook, if you use the um, potato flake starter in our cookbook, that's gluten free. You can do that. Oh wow! Actually, a number of people asked that, so yay! I'm yeah, glad. You can. I didn't see it, so thanks, Jill, for re relaying it to me. Uh, awesome. <laughs> So, let's see. Wait, are you seriously thinking about moving? Yeah. Do you think I just pack our stuff up just because I feel like packing well, it up? Well, I don't even see you packing stuff up. It just clicked in my it? head. Should I uh, start packing So, up? where we're, we're no. thinking is oh, okay. south of us, uh, closer to Colorado Springs. Yeah. Gotcha. So. And the taxes, oh my goodness, the taxes are third of what they are up here, just an hour away. So oh, yeah. we were like, man, if our house is paid off, it would be even cheaper if we go into retirement to live down there. So, oh, but this place that we saw, they had the cutest little cottage. And we were like, we could fix that up for mom. And it looked like a little snow white in the seven dwarfs kind of cottage. It was so cute. It was so cute. Uh, Jody, what we didn't like about it was it it was a smaller house that had been built onto three other times. And so it had a lot of spaces that weren't very really usable. Like a master bedroom that you had to, it was real long and the door was at the front of the long part. So you could like put your bed and everything in there, but the front half of the room was pretty much not usable except as a giant hallway. And uh, there were a couple of other spaces like that. So basically everything was great about the whole thing except the configuration on the house. If we could have bulldozed the house and built something new for, for us to live in, we would have bought it. Like the but, size of the house was fine. Yeah. The size, the property size and look and everything and all that, everything was great. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't, it's okay, but it's nice to know that there is something available. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Rebecca, we were, super excited. we were surprised that the Springs is quite a bit cheaper, too, because that house would have been a quarter of a million dollars more in our area than yeah. it is down there. Just an hour away. So yeah. I'm so glad we drove down there. We were just kind of exploring. Okay, so there's the brownies. All done. Now, here's my super secret easy frosting trick. Okay. Take your brownies. And while they're super hot, just take some chocolate chips, sprinkle them on top, 
and let them melt and then you're going to spread it. You don't need a lot, just a little bit, but if you want a frosting brownie, okay? So we're going to let that sit for just a minute. Okay, other questions, my love? <laughs> Heather noticed I was about to try to grab a chip, but... <laughs> G. Hoffman, love that area, got married in the springs. Yes, it's really, really pretty. Well, and it's grown like where we're at too. It's grown crazy, but you know, if we're going to be in Colorado, you got to deal with crazy, so... You might as well have a neighborhood that's nice and not crazy for when you have to go to town and deal with crazy, so. Yeah, the main thing is the actual neighborhood or the area that we like, um, it's not likely to be like close together houses like here. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to hear the dogs barking all day long. Uh, marshmallows too? I'm oh sure yeah, marshmallows works. would be really good on top or marshmallow fluff, ooh, yum. Shauna, I do not know how many viewers are in Colorado. Our I, viewers? How many? Our viewers? viewers? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. Don't use salt. You don't salt the chips, Nebo's wondering. Yeah, I do. I do. You just, I just do it afterwards. Um, yay. Okay, so there you go. Ms. T asked if we have ever made crispy meat burritos. Oh. You roll up a meat and cheese burrito and then put it in the fryer. We've never done that, right? Can I have some? Sounds yeah, good, it's though. It's hot, though. I've never done that. Diana, the winters here kind of depend. Yes. Um, okay, now guys, can you see this? Mostly there, we'll get snow and then we'll get sun for in 70 and then back to snow yeah. again. But we don't get that much snow most years in Colorado. We had like 12 to 15 inches of snow this time last week. And it was 70 the day before it snowed. It was crazy. Caramel is awesome on hot brownies. That sounds oh, really yeah. good, Oh yeah, caramel would be really good. Then just as your chocolate chips are melting, just spread it on. Yeah, Kathy says I hear now is the time to refinance the mortgage because interest is so, yeah. We would probably, we're kind of barely, we would barely need one just because that house is a little more expensive than we're here. We're super close to being able to pay cash, actually. But our house has gone up in value just since the time we've lived here, yeah. so it, it was not a very big jump, especially since the houses are Apparently cheaper down there than they are where we are here. Okay, it's super hot. Kathy made stir fry today. Yummy. Thanks for your dining on a dime cookbook. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Right. Thank oh you God. for your let encouragement. Cool for a minute. Hold on, we're going to let it cool for just a minute. Barbara, first time seeing you live. Hello from Canada, and I just love you guys. God bless. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, thanks. I think I recognize your name. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, so we're wanting to stay debt-free if possible. So we're hoping with the launch of the two new books that hopefully will be done, we will have enough cash to pay for it. But if we find the absolute perfect house and we don't have quite enough money, we will get a mortgage for that amount and then just pay it off. But um, so, we are, so we got pre-approved for a loan and all of that just in case um, just in case we find something because this place I was like man I'm gonna make an offer on it it, I, it came up Thursday morning was talking about it to a realtor Thursday night he said they've already got two offers we were like what so at 6 30 Friday morning we got in the car and drove the almost not quite two hours down there with our realtor to check it out and it was one of those things where we knew right away it wasn't going to work but the property oh my goodness it was beautiful it was just beautiful oh dj i forgot maybe i didn't see i can't remember if i forgot your question uh dj i didn't where did i have your, did I have your question somewhere here uh, you, can you ask again? Because I don't recall. DJ says today's Walmart has bleach, bleach spray for the carts. Yeah, ours has had that too for a while. Um, but I don't see the question. So can you post it again? I, I did a search. and. What's the, the verdict? Do we um, have a verdict? It's... Is yeah. your mouth singing? It's one of those things that are pretty bad. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. So you're still eating it even though it's really bad? Yeah. Thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan. That's really good. <laughs> gave a $10 super chat for Bible money. Oh, thanks. 
thanks. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, we give away Bibles if you don't have one. Thank you, Jonathan. We actually just got a request before the show, so it will go for that one. And I showed Tara your alligator video. <laughs> Jonathan, you are out of your mind. That oh, was... my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Our friend Jonathan lives in Florida, and he's always harassing me because I do not want to go to Florida because they have alligators. I'm like, who in their right mind lives there with alligators? I Apparently, there's a lot of people who aren't in their right mind in Florida, but... You know, what can I say? Oh, but they're awful. I don't want you to get sick. Your mom says, okay, I'm yeah, smelling really brownies. <laughs> Your mom says, okay, I'm smelling brownies and I don't have any in the house. I know. They're actually... Oh, they smell heavenly. They're... Oh, wow. That's super, super hot. Oh. Hold on. Careful. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do hot. set up a little bit firmer when they're cool. Don't cut them quite so hot. But, yeah. Ow. Um... Uh, boy, I have i am not sure what you can use for disinfecting a banister. Um, just a second. Let me finish one more thing. Jonathan um, gave $10 for the Bibles. I forgot to say, if you want a Bible and you don't have one, we have an easy-to-read English Standard Version. We are sending for free. Email me, editor at livingonadime.com if you want one, because we know a lot of people are stressed and a lot of people are turning back to God when they weren't, you know, real, feeling like they were real close to him and they're getting turned back to God and they want a Bible they can read, this is an easier version. Just email me, editor at Living on a Dime. Okay, Bannister. Oh, and Kayla super chatted $10. Thank you very oh, much, Kayla. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, and, um, well, anyway, uh, let's see. We're, Bannister. Just take a wash rag with some soap and physically rub it up and down the banister and that will help disinfect it. Okay? All right, have all these little crumbs here. Oh, oh dear, just burned myself again. Okay. There. 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 Okay. So, <gasps> Easy dinner. Just burned myself though. Let oh, no. me get a drink and put my finger in my water. BL says my brother lives in Florida. Their, their retirement community has alligators in the pond. The community leaders are upset that the swans they keep buying keep disappearing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, but here's the question. Why do you keep buying swans when you know there's alligators? <laughs> you would think people that old would have enough common sense to know. Wow. By the way, if you're just joining us, Dining on a Dime is 30% off for our Mother's Day sale right now. It ends Thursday. 50% off everything else, guys. Commercial break. 50% off everything else. Our price books, our to-do lists, our menu planners, our financial planners, our aprons. If you need to get it together, apron. We are not reprinting the aprons. We are not reprinting the to-do list and the menu list. And we are not sure if we're repinning the financial planner or the price book. We may be going digital with all of those. Well, the aprons we're just not selling anymore. But when these are gone, they're gone. Hmm. Oh, Lavender got sourdough starter from Alderman Farms. <laughs> <coughs> Go check out Patty's sourdough starter, guys. It's great. Just... It comes in a little packet. I have some right here. I haven't activated yet, but it's dehydrated sourdough starter. Go to aldermanfarms.net. She has some for sale. Goes with her ebook that's coming out tomorrow. It is coming out tomorrow. If Dave and I have to stay up till three o'clock in the morning to get it done, it's right, Dave? Get it on the store too. <laughs> uh, Lizzie, the uh, if you have a Kindle, you'd have to put the ebook in the documents folder, but it will open and read it. So. You just have to put it in documents and not because Kindle books only go to Kindle. So then, yes. if you want, sprinkle cheese on here. Dude, you need a brownie. Super, super yummy. Oh, Let me show you real quick. Have you ever heard of chicken salt? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of chicken salt? I have not heard of chicken salt. Oh, okay. I do not know what that is. Okay. Um, I am dairy free, so I leave the cheese off for part for me, but there you go. And that's 
our easy dinner. If I wasn't yakking, it probably would have taken me less time, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if we had any more. Oh, did you already answer this one? I wonder how many of us will end up making brownies tonight. Uh, Hopefully everyone, because they're awesome. Probably everyone. I mean, it's just <sighs> divine. Cindy says Patty's cinnamon rolls are amazing. Are they, can you yeah. make them out of the sourdough? Yeah. Woo, yum. Yeah. We had some, she made some while we were there, and they were in her queen loaf. It sounds weird. I'm like, what is a queen loaf? Well, it's like a loaf of bread. It's like a, a no. Not a loaf of bread. It's like a Danish filled with whatever pie filling or cinnamon and sugar with pie filling. It's, oh, blueberry. Oh my goodness. It is so delicious. It is absolutely delicious. So. Um, oh, sorry. Didn't know you were waiting on me. Uh, I was just putting it coming. Okay. Uh, high maintenance says I call them chimichangas, the crispy meat burritos. If if that's what, oh, is that what, yeah, if that's what Miss T was talking about? I do know what chimichangas yeah, are, and chimichangas I love them. are really good. They're awesome. Yeah. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm clicking too many places. Uh, all right, well, that is all the new stuff I see. Let's see, what was the first dish? Uh, Tar made the brownies, and that was the main thing. And for then the show? Spanish rice. Oh, God, that looks so good. And then we're having nachos with Spanish rice for dinner. I know, a little bit, but yeah. Ice cream lady driver. I made the five ingredient brownies the other day and they have one nasty problem. They disappear really fast. I know, I know. So we, so you can make a double batch. <laughs> Wait, what does Wanda mean I need to be close to the fire department? I think Wanda's been watching a little while. <laughs> so here's the thing. I, my uncle lives down there and he knows the area really well. And I said, you know, if we move to this area, is there any reason why we should move here? And he's like, forest fires. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. so actually, I didn't know this. G Hoffman said on the Kindle, you can email it to your Kindle address with the word convert in the title. What do you know about that? Hmm. Uh, we don't have Kindle, so let's see. All right. Well. Love. All right, guys, don't forget to check out our Mother's Day sale. It is going until Thursday. 50% off everything except Dining on a Dime, which is 30% off. We are, um, we've got three pallets left, so go grab them. We will probably have a few left after our Mother's Day sale because I miscounted and we had an extra pallet that I wasn't counting. Mike but was like, what? Mike said, what do you mean we're down to three pallets? So we were down to four pallets, now we're down to three pallets. Well, to so, her defense, it was kind of hidden behind the shipping desk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we only have three pallets of books left, and we started with ten just not that long ago. Just, a, I don't know, a few weeks ago, actually. So, um... Thank you, Valerie. We will see you guys on Wednesday, hopefully making sourdough. Guys, check out our newsletter, livingonadime.com. There's a pop-up. Sign up for our newsletter, and we let you know when we have new products and when we have sales, but we also give you free recipes and tips in every newsletter. We give you free recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill, but that is the way to stay in contact with us. With us. And we have a whole bunch of new products coming out, and we're going to be giving away a whole bunch of free stuff in the coming months. Whoa. So See, I learned it when you learned it. <laughs> you're going to want to sign up for our newsletter because we are going to have a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> Margaret, what? cool the brownies and freeze them right away. I'd be a size 72 if I didn't. <sighs> See, that's my problem. I love sweets and I just like to eat. The thing about the brownies is I think based on what's happened with other sweets lately that uh, they will probably be gone before Tara can eat too many. But... Here's the thing. Today, give me a high five, guys. Today, we hit three miles on my power walk. <laughs> awesome. Oh, you guys yes. I made three miles today on my power walk. I will admit, the first mile and a half, I was limping <laughs> because I was, getting, I was getting shin splits so bad. I am like, I can't do this one second longer my feet are killing me and i'm like no i'm gonna see if i can hit three miles today 
And I made it! Woo! Yeah, didn't I we use, you to go a little bit yes. further? <laughs> we, uh, we use our power walks as our business meeting time every day. <laughs> um, Paul, outside of our area, there's a sidewalk uh, that goes down a street. Um, that's where there aren't any houses or anything, and it's pretty desolate this yeah. time of, right now. So. Yeah, it's not busy. Yeah. So. Here, one of the, our governor's order about things, um, one of the things it says in there is you can go out for exercise or whatever, yeah. and a lot of people kind of go walk, but just more or less stay away from each yeah. other. Yeah, kids go ride their bikes, they go play frisbee at the park, so, you know, we just, you just stay away from other people. But we like don't, the parks, the places yeah. in parks where you get together with people, like uh, playgrounds. playgrounds, those are they have police tape around them, yeah. so you know you're not supposed to go in there and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but it is nice to get out, um, especially in the sun. I heard I talked to a guy in Jamaica the other day who said that they are not allowed to leave the house, the building at all. Wow, and Americans uh, would not put up with that. That's not, yeah, Americans uh, wouldn't put up with that. Some people think it's that way here, but our governor's order is we're too rebellious, more relaxed than that. Yeah, my um garden does still have snow torrid, but it's almost gone. Well, we it's have 15 inches, gone. it's taken yeah. four days of like yeah. 50s and 60s for it to melt. Yep, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, Ms. T says there's a recipe for potato pancakes in the Dining Out of Dime cookbook, potato flour, eggs, and a little yeah. butter. They are amazing. Yeah. So anyway. <gasps> and somebody asked about my kitchen makeover. Yes, I'm still loving my kitchen makeover, but no, I still would not recommend using the Rust-Oleum countertop restore. That was a huge failure. But I, did, I do like the way that we did the kitchen, and I love it. As a matter of fact, what's hilarious is about this house that we looked at, the kitchen was black cabinets with white countertop. It was hilarious. So that's actually cool. Yeah. So it was crazy. It was a vacant house. So don't for all of you panicking and all that. And nobody had, was home. We had surgical was, gloves and the mask. We wore gloves. We wore masks. But nobody was home. So it they wasn't. Don't live there anymore. Yeah, so yeah. It wasn't anything crazy. But thank you guys. For the two super chats, we will donate those for the Bibles. Once again, if you want a Bible, edit her at livingonadime.com. We will give them to you for free because Jesus is the only way to help you with your anxiety. It yep. is. <laughs> and has he helped you with your anxiety? Your mom says, <laughs> your mom says they're going to make it three blocks. Yes. Yes, although not today. <laughs> yes, today, but... Wasn't being very doesn't mean you're necessarily going to be permanently healed. Sometimes you are, but sometimes he uses those things to help you grow. Yes. You've been growing a lot lately. Actually, he's been making me realize some things that I'm haven't come that far on. <laughs> so there you go. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. Go check out our Mother's Day sale at livingonadime.com. Go check out our daughter's goat milk soap and she has the travel samples left all all she's got left for the goat milk cream 25 percent off for mother's day <gasps> smells so good goatmilkgifts.com for mother's day 25 percent off with the sale code sale 25 and we will be back on wednesday and hopefully tomorrow we're launching uh, easy sourdough start to finish and about the newsletter if you go to livingonadime.com there's a thing that should pop up if you've never been there before after a few uh, seconds, but there's also a thing in the side where yep. you can sign up for it. So Sign up for it a says, newsletter, guys. It says you get a 22 recipes for yep. a $20 ebook for free. Yeah. For we'll free. just give you a free ebook, 20, um, dinners, $20. 20 dinners in 20 minutes is our free ebook to sign up for a newsletter. <laughs> Mike totally blew the title. <laughs> if YouTube ever dumps us, that's the way to find us again. You guys know me and my big mouth. Someday I'm going to say something and they'll probably just delete our whole channel. No. <laughs> no, you have to say... <laughs> yes, nothing to say. You have to say three somethings. But... I have to say three somethings? Oh, three wait, you forgot to try the brownies. Now they're cool. Here. Oh, yay. Oops, oh, I just slaughtered this one, though. Oh, okay, wow. here, Mike's testing real quick. Then we're going. Okay, <laughs> have a test. Mmm. <laughs> Man. Those are good brownies, aren't they? Those are really good. You don't usually frost them, do you? No. Man, they're really good. 
Man, oh man. This would be a good way to pass the time I was going to say, but... I but tested again, like 10 brownie recipes to get this one. Really talking about the quarantine T15, 15. yes. <laughs> Somebody else was saying five, so yeah. if it's only five, that's awesome. <laughs> so anyway. So far, we haven't gained any. I gained all mine over Christmas. All right, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Visit us at livingonadime.com. We'll see you on Wednesday.